Things are heating up among the Tory membership as Rishi Sunak is set to appoint a pro-EU, pro-migration Jeremy Hunt as Home Secretary. Meanwhile, Liz Truss's choice for Home Secretary is also a Remainer. I did warn you guys uh, in this channel, we're going to be, be making everybody angry. <laughs> You got Liz Truss's supporters attacking me. You got Rishi Sunak supporters attacking me on, in the comment section. I don't mind because we have to tell the truth. We have to hold both sides to account. Otherwise, complacency will occur as usual. Rishi Sunak, we've been talking to both campaigns and they've been telling us uh, about uh, the, the, the potential cabinet options and members. Rishi Sunak is considering, well, I think it's confirmed. <laughs> it's not just considering to have Jeremy Hunt as the new Home Secretary. A stay named Jeremy Hunt, who's pro-EU, globalist, and pro-migration. It's fascinating how with these people with all the closet in the, the skeletons in the closets, they still manage to get through. We need a cultural conservative who's actually hardcore to know how to handle the home office. We have a border crisis. We have a cultural crisis. We don't understand what's going on with the, the country's identity. Yet, they think they'll just pick another globalist. I mean, this is one, one team. The other campaign, Liz Truss, her option for Home Secretary is Trace Coffey. I mean, she's lovely. She, she's very good at a lot of things. And I don't want to be a Puritan and say, well, just because she voted Remain, that means she's not a Brexiteer or like, oh, she doesn't care about borders. But optics matter. You know, if, if you're going to be, I, I believe that the last, technically speaking, the last conservative-ish, Brexit-ish cabinet we have was Boris Johnson's first cabinet in 2019. Since then, a lot of them obviously have left and a lot of them have disappointed us. We've been let down by both Brexiteers and Remainers in terms of the Tory party anyway. So maybe coffee, they've been a, a, a former Remain voter, doesn't really matter, but I don't know. But this is the, the option, but there are some good signs. We are seeing Kemi Badnock being considered by both campaign teams to be getting a top cabinet job. So this is absolutely amazing. So both Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have said their campaigns that uh, Kemi will get a top job. It's funny because they're just like Frankenstein, they're going to create their own monster. But you know, it is what it is. Give a top job to Kemi and she will become party leader in the future. <laughs> so that's the, I mean, they want to keep her inside the tent, I guess, but it is going to be massively backfiring in the future. Now, in terms of the decisions and questionable decisions, we have, uh, well, firstly, Tom Tuggenhat is uh, being considered by Team Liz Truss. So if Liz Truss becomes my minister, then he will be getting a top job as well. And he's good when it comes to defense. He's very good on China. Um, but we'll see if he can actually show his other conservative credentials. On the other hand, Steve Barkley is going to be Rishi Sunak's chancellor. Again, I'm, they might impress me. They, they might prove me wrong. But... I'm not that enthusiastic about what I'm hearing these days <laughs> from both campaigns, but we will see which one deserves it more and which one the establishment will allow to actually do better during the campaign. We've still got weeks to go. And in this channel, we will keep you guys posted every single day throughout this campaign season. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.